This is my work ID. I work for Will Cornell Medicine on 68th in York. I do comparative pathology research. We deal with biohazardous materials and radiation particles. We inject animals like rhesus monkeys, rats, and mice with diseases and radioactive agents. Two weeks ago when I went to work, I noticed the security guards were in with diseases and, and they were armed, which is not normal. But I didn't pay it any mind. I go upstairs to work, I clock in. My boss is like, yo, listen, you're not needed, but we need you to surrender your Geiger counter. My Geiger counter was attached to my ID because we deal with radiation emissions in my department on the seventh floor, which is the only department that deals with radiation. But they wanted me to surrender my Geiger counter. When I left work, the only people that were left in my building's facility were the scientists, the professors, the researchers, and security guards that were armed. It's not the virus that's getting people sick. It's 5G network from the radiation. And the reason why they have me surrender my Geiger counter is so if I'm in a proximity of people that have 5G networks, my Geiger counter is going to detect that I'm in a proximity of radiation. That's what's getting people sick. That's what's getting people um, with respiratory issues. That's why some people are dying. Now, my homie works for Verizon. He got a message via email from corporate instructing him and his 100-man crew to pump 5G network cables throughout the tri-state area, whether buildings or houses were abandoned or not. The letter said, if your crew gets sick, we'll send them home and you keep on working. Don't worry. When they say that the oil is short, you'll be first dibs to get the oil. Mm, the oil you take care of. Exactly. Mm, that's deep, bro. I'm glad you came on and told my audience that just now because... Damn. Well, I've, been, I've, been, I've been trying to hit you up for a minute, man, for a minute, because cause shit is real. And, and niggas don't really know what's going on. They believe in what the media is telling them. Just understand, whatever the media is saying they're going to do, they're not going to do. They're telling you they're going to give you $1,200 stimulus check for this money. How? When they say that the money is going to be contaminated, then they're going to shut down the banks worldwide. How the fuck are you going to cash that check if you're quarantined and you can't leave and the banks are shut down? They're doing technology and manipulating the people to believe a big ass fucking lie. Mm, that's a fact. I believe so too, bro. And a lot of people was not uh, aware of 5G and the, and the health benefits of it. 5G is, is game over. It's, it's frying us. So it's just like in Wuhan when, when, when they that's the first place they really rolled out 5G. Exactly. And I, and I believe here is it was New York City, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Because in New York. Look at look at the look at the rates going up of people with coronavirus. Now how how did, how, you know, how they diagnosing all these people when they say they ain't got no test? Right or wrong? Facts. Yo, you know what's crazy? Um, the symptoms that they're saying is caused by this virus are the same exact symptoms from radiation contamination. They're talking about loss of taste, loss of smell, hair loss, vomiting, diarrhea. Pretty soon they're gonna say a new symptom is. Blood in your stool and blood in your urine. Uh, uh, constant parchedness that you'll have an unquenchable thirst. Because radiation boils the water molecules in your brain, in your respiratory tract, and in your reproductive system. So don't be surprised when this shit disappears and 10 years later it comes back, because that's what's going to happen. You're sterile and you can't produce. There was a movie called Children of Men or the City of Men. Children of Men, right. Where, where a war came out and for years no one was able to reproduce. reproduce. But one woman gave birth to a right. baby and it changed the world. These things right. are literally acting out scripts from movies and fictional books to instill fear and in the media propaganda. Fear is the lowest vibration and that also weakens your immune system. And when you're scared, the adrenal chrome that's in your blood makes your blood pump faster, harder, and stronger, which is what the pedal blood suckers need in order to be young again, which is why they're also saying that kids oh, are getting boy. infected and they're going to mandate or force inoculate the vaccine on niggas. The FDA takes a year and a half to approve of a vaccine. Why would the three months of the year, all of a sudden, they have this vaccination ready to be mandated, forced, forced on you? Whether you say yes or no, they're going to... All right, man, listen, I got some more clips I'm going to talk about, but it's just something that kind of crossed my mind a little bit. You know, normally I'll make jokes and I'll crack jokes, but I'm going to get a little bit serious now, man. I don't expect a lot of people to be on this late. It's about two o'clock in the morning, but I'll probably re-upload it on my original channel. But listen, 
there's certain things about this conspiracy, right? Because the reason why I'm going to say it's a conspiracy is because I'm inputting information from what another person is saying. And I'm trying to look at what's going on right now in real world. Maybe my mind thinks this way and I'm not expecting everybody to agree with what I'm saying. Because I don't expect everybody to agree with anything that I say. Some of y'all will and some of y'all won't. This is a free thinking channel. So I'm thinking like this in my perspective of what I think of the first conspiracy of them talking about the 5G Wi-Fi, right? That's going from up above building these towers and it's creating radiation, right? So they say the same situation happened in China as well. This is why these people are dropping like flies. Okay. But here's the thing, right? Now, I'm not insulting this guy's intelligence and I'm not saying that the stuff he's saying is not right or it's false information because it could very well be true. But then again, what if we're wrong? Just think about it. Now, I, I'm just going to tell you based on my opinion, because this is my opinion only. This is not facts or anything like that, but this is just my opinion and what I feel about this whole thing. When he started to talk about wanting to take your blood and wanting to suck your blood because they're trying to take your blood so they can still have that young youth again. So... According to my calculation, they're using us as a human experiments because that's what it sounds like. And then the 5G comes from the radiation because there's radiation out there. That's that's 5G. So what happened to 4G? What happened to 3G? Did we have any type of... Uh, Radiation problems during then? You know, I just, I just, as a, as a person that just thinks out of the box, because not everybody's going to really believe everything I got to say or believe what this guy's got to say. I mean, it's going to be half and half. I think it's quite funny when you have people like Alex Jones, who's made conspiracy YouTube videos for the longest time for many years alex jones people didn't want to listen to him people thought he was a nutcase he used to talk about the liberals is taking over they want to do this they want to do that and it was just, it had to do with politics and i'm just hearing a lot of other things besides the 5g radiation coming down and trying to I guess kill us all but why would they want to kill us all if they want our blood at the same time so they can keep young again and then I hear these things about how they want to kill off the poor kill off the poor and only have the rich survive Another question for you. If the rich want to kill off all the poor and have just the rich survive. You know that the rich get rich off the poor. We are the poor. We make them the rich. Why do we make them rich? Because we go to their basketball games. We go to their football games. We go to their concerts. We buy their albums. We buy their sneakers. We buy their hats. We buy their t-shirts. We buy their underwear, their socks. We buy their drinks. <laughs> so they want to kill us all and have the rich only survive. Why is that? 
Here's one of the reasons why I don't really quite believe in that theory because the rich need the poor to survive. Just think about it. We actually make the rich survive. Without us as people on this universe, there is no energy being produced into the universe. You need people to survive. It would make no sense in destroying a population of people when you need people to survive. Every living organism on this earth that is human specimen needs a human to survive. So why would they get rid of the poor people and only keep the rich people? By building 5G towers and sending radiation. Does that make any logical sense? Is it a possibility that he could be true and could be telling the truth? Yeah. That's one of the theories. Here's a second theory. Look at this. Ooh, oh, that's, look that's, at this man. That's what the shit is about. Look at the man. Google LLC, Barack Hussein, Joe Biden, all of them. All of them going to court. Look at this. That's in court. That's, that's why America closed down, bro. They all went to fucking court. Hey, Look what it is. Traffic in Oregon. Uh huh. Harvesting. Hong Kong. All of them versus the United States. Look at that. Look. But they ain't said nothing. They told us to stand in the house like it was cattle. Look what we have here. You see this date, February the 26th, 2020. The United... Now, this is another video that I just showed you guys, which is another possibility of a conspiracy. Is that the reason why we're being shut down and being sent home is because there is a massive arrest within constitutions, within presidents, within TVs and movie stars. And there's also rumors of sex trafficking and 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 i guess sex girl like baby trafficking of young de underage children they were talking about and just a lot of stuff a lot of assassinations and money and greed and stealing wealth well i've always said this for the longest time with hollyweird is also linked to politics i do believe so hollyweird and politics and the mainstream media is all linked to each other so this is a possibility why we're all staying home because they're doing a mass arrest to cover up the mass arrest that's been going on behind doors and now they're saying oh look what trump is doing man he's come to save us trump is coming to save us listen man and I got nothing against any president because I'm not a politician. I don't vote and I don't care. That's just my opinion. You don't have to believe in that. That's fine. That's up to you. I've always said it, that presidents are selected, not elected. Now, according to this, we are at home because there's a mass arrest going on. And Trump is here to save us. I find it very hypocritical, very, very hypocritical that a lot of you niggas, <laughs> a lot of you Negroes couldn't stand Donald Trump. It said he's a racist. Now all of y'all turning around and saying that, oh, Donald Trump is here to save us. He's going to turn all this around. <clears throat> so.
So, if that's the case, if he's going to turn all this around, if that's the case, Why shut down everything? Something does... I, I don't know. These are just my thoughts, people. And I'm just thinking outside the box and I'm not thinking like everybody else. If this is a mass arrest on people now, so if we're not focused on the 5G of the virus, we're focusing on, oh, he's doing this for a mass arrest. And he's sending us all home. What does a mass arrest have to do with us? Or maybe though all those people are all linked to stores that we go to and we eat and only certain stores and certain, uh, I guess, businesses weren't involved in this sexual acts of committing crimes in some sort of dark second world, which we don't know about. That could be a possibility. But where's the proof? Where's the proof? So this is what I've been hearing. My white friend said, Trump administration got into the 1st of June to do their roundups. Because people are not staying locked inside if you're not locking them people up. The people said that the real reason we're saying is because they out putting these 5G towers up while we are inside. So they have until the first to round them people up. Or oh, my white friends, they shooting. They shooting. They gonna be shooting. Congress. My white friends not playing. My white friends are not playing. They go be shooting. They got into January, June the 21st. Because she's saying my white friends ain't playing. My white friends ain't playing. Let's, let's, let's take a look at that one more time. One more time. Because I'm trying to get the grasp of this whole thing. So she speaks on the 5G networks. Listen to this one more time. So this is what I've been hearing. My white friend said Trump administration got into the 1st of June to do their roundups because people are not staying locked inside if you're not locking them people up. The people said that the real reason we're saying is because they out putting these 5G towers up while we are inside. So they have until the 1st to round them people up or my white friends, they shooting. They shooting. They're going to be shooting. Congress. Okay, so in other words, she's saying this is information that she got. Okay? Saying June 21st from her white friends. Okay, notice how she said her white friends. She said they got into the 21st to lock these people up. Or else June 21st, they're going to start shooting because they believe they're trying to put up the 5G network towers. Did she just do a forecast for a riot? They shooting. Mm, they shooting. Mm -hmm. mm, they shooting. You know why I call this a little bit hypocritical? Because I was on this woman's page and this is no disrespect to her. 
But at the same time, it's a disrespect to your what you're putting out. Not to you personally, but what you're putting out. Because in other words, you were just saying that the government, the people on TV, put out a lot of lies on mainstream media talking about the coronavirus to scare people. And they shouldn't be scaring the American people like that. The mainstream media. And I totally agree with it because I think that the mainstream media do not have their 100% facts on what's going on. I say the people to talk to are the doctors or the physicians. So. Her reason why everybody's buying up toilet paper and toilet tissues because of the radiation is going to make everybody's heart go crazy and everybody's going to be shitting on, a, on the floor and all that and all this other stuff because the radiation is going to end up killing the people. Then she said now they're taking them down because people are starting to realize they're taking them down because people are starting to realize what's going on. This is why I talk about people. If you don't have 100% facts in what you're speaking about, do not put out things that's going to panic and f put people in a state of confusion and shock. The media and everybody that's speculating and assuming things are putting the panic in people. This is why I don't watch TV. I don't watch the news it is depressing and it puts you out of a state of mind to where you can't relax you know what i really honestly think what will honestly kill people is their own insanity we are panicking and we're frantic we're panicking and we're at a state of confusion because we all don't know what's going on. That is 100% facts. That's something that we all can agree on. Nobody really knows what's going on. We're making assumptions. We're assuming things. We're assuming things. I don't even know the answers. I don't know what the hell's going on. But I don't want this type of energy to think. I don't want this type of energy. This is a dark, scared energy. Mm, they shooting. Mm, mm. Oh, yeah. My friend, white, white friends. Oh, June 21st, you ain't doing shit. They, they shooting. Like, that's a good thing that if that happens, right? A civil war. A civil war. That is something that America does not need. Everybody has their own thought process. Everybody has their own belief on what's going on within this universe but before i get to that i want to get onto a message under this video that was shown by this woman that i a compliment that i made on instagram now i didn't come off disrespectful towards her but i was just questioning her on her question she also put down this there was never a COVID-19, read this, Co coronavirus is fake. It was a huge cover-up to allow deployment of the 5G network tower. So she's heavily pushing this 5G network conspiracy. 
which are the real. The reason why I call it conspiracy is because we all really don't have the answers to that. We're not 100% sure if that's what's going on. Because my question is this. We've had 5G for two years. For the last two years. For the last two years, we had 5G. Why all of a sudden it's become dangerous? I just think outside the box just a little bit. It's very scary. It's very scary to think of this. But when the American people have a scared mindset, we become scarce because we don't know. We let our emotions become the best of us. As far as our government lying to us, I've always believed in that. I've always talked about that. Why all of a sudden everybody wants to do this now? Everybody should have had this mindset a long time ago. But when people like myself was talking about this, that there was a possibility this could happen, guess what I was told from my own people? I was told, shut the F up, Negro. Or well, they didn't say Negro, but they said the uh. And they called me all types of names and words. Why? Because I wasn't a major figure. I wasn't somebody that was everybody knew on TV that they could look up to. I was just a regular Negro. And as far as everyone concerned was, I was talking shit. So I replied to this girl off of my Instagram. I said this to her, I hear what you're saying. I'll take into consideration, but we got to be real. You just hearing what other people were saying, just like I am. Nobody has a hundred percent facts on what's going on. And this is no disrespect, but we just got to keep it real. Nobody knows what's going on. It's just speculations. Then from here on out, I got this from her. She says, what's going on is they telling people to fear something they don't even know is real. Plus, it's been around for years, which I totally agree with her on that. Coronavirus, right. It's been around for years. So why haven't we been so concerned and worried about it back then, but we are now? Hmm? I know for a fact it's a hybrid, hybrids hybrid SARS virus, which messes with the respiratory system. I know it's inhuman for them to keep locked up. I don't, I do know they already started burning down these towers. Okay. So it's inhuman for us to be locked up, which I totally agree on that. And I also totally agree with her on saying about the, the coronavirus part. But she said they're starting to burn these towers down. Now that most men who look like you will make excuses, then try to say, I'm not saying you wrong. Wow. So I'm trying to really understand this statement here that she wrote, because I agree with a couple of things that she said until we got down to the down part here. When she said, I do know they already started burning down these towers. So if they started burning down these towers, then why would you even talk about my right friends? Mm, them five G's, mm, they gonna kill everybody. Mm, my white friends, mm, they better be mm, 21st, June 21st. Mm -hmm. But you said that they're burning down the towers now, which 
promotes the radiation from 5G. So why would you still put out this video if you know that they are aware of what's going on and they're starting to burn it down? And then this is her finale of her statement. I know that most men who look like you will make excuses than try to say, I'm not saying you wrong. Most men who look like me. So in other words, she sized me up, not based on my statement, but on my looks. You see what I'm saying? So if I guess if I was a six feet tall nigga, and I was jacked up, and I had a big long dick, I bet you any money, my points, or I should say my statements would be valued to you, because I'm not physically attractive, you notice how a lot of these type of women, whenever you ask them a question regarding to their statement, they start to get in a little bit of an emotional response, and I was basically talking about the actual statement that she wrote, or I should say the video that she put out and the statement that was presented from the video. So I just questioned her about it. All of a sudden, everything was fine. And I agreed with a lot of the statement that she was saying, you know, it's inhumane to be locked up. That is true. Corona has been around for many years. Very true. But that is something that everybody's been passing around saying. You're not the only one, sweetheart, that's been saying that shit. Okay, I've heard it from a lot of people in other articles, but she acts like she's the only one that came up with this shit. Then she says, then this is the, the grand finale. I know that most men who look like you will make excuses and try to say, I'm not saying you're wrong. Most men who look like me. So I guess she's had a person who, you know, I guess kind of question her about her statement that looked like me so in other ways i may be taking that as a you know a compliment there i guess but i don't see how my looks have to do with my statement in this factor so you're just basing me based on my looks many men who look like me you know what it is let me tell you something about this woman notice how she said my white friends Okay, I'm gonna go back and play this clip. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play this clip. She says, look at us on the bottom. I know that most men who look like you will make excuses who look like me. Most men who look like me, um, who are black, who are black men. Okay, let me play this real quick, man. Let me play real quick for this educated woman. So this is what I've been hearing. My white friend said Trump administration got until the 1st of June to do their roundups because people are not staying locked inside if you're not locking them people up. Oh, God. The people said that the real reason we're saying is because they out putting these 5G towers up while we are inside. So they have until the 1st to round them people up or my white friends, they shooting. They shoot it. They're gonna be shooting. Notice how she said my white friends. Notice how she never said my friends. Or she even said black friends. She said my white friends gonna be shooting. And people trying to take this as a joke. You know what I'm saying? Like, ah, no. She already tell you who she associated herself with. In other words, me as a black man who makes a statement in regarding to what she was saying and not in a disrespectful way, she turned it into an emotional response by saying, most men who look like you will make excuses. So most men who are black like me, who's a black man, will make excuses. In other words, what I say is not valuable to you, but you're quick to listen to the white man. Hmm. Well, make excuses then try to say, I'm not saying you're wrong. Okay. So this is my response to that. Okay. Let me see if I can go ahead and get it. There you go. This is my response to that. So I said this to her. Most men who look like me will make excuses. 
So now you're generalizing me based on my looks, on my opinions, on the situation and matter. See, you absolutely made no sense. And you're taking this as an emotional response that I see from you. I don't think you entirely read what I said. See, I didn't want to point her out and say, you're a coon or you're cooning because that's exactly what she was doing. She was cooning, but that's okay. I can read that. But see, if I would have spotted her out and I would have said all types of rude, disgusting things, then I would become emotional. Then I would have fallen for the bait. So I said, it was no disrespect. But the fact of the matter is nobody has 100% proof on what's going on. One thing I do agree with you on, your comment, is that Corona has been around for a long time that I do... Go back here. Let's see if I could blow this up. There we go. This is getting good, boy. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Let me see if I can go ahead and fix this. Um, boom, 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 boom. All right. Okay, so let me go ahead and read this up. Okay, so I said, I don't think you entirely read what I said. I said it was no disrespect, but the fact of the matter is nobody has 100% proof on what's going on. One thing I do agree with you on your comment is that Corona has been around for a long time. So I gave her credit that she did say what was right, that Corona has been around for a long time. So I give her credit on that. And I also do agree on that not taken away from anything but once again you did say in your video you heard from somebody like someone else has heard from someone but do you have actual facts my question for you is let's just say the let me see go over okay okay well i don't know if i could okay let me see if i can move this up hold on okay there we go okay let me see where I left off. Uh, uh, okay, okay, so I said, you did say in a video, you heard from somebody like someone else has heard from someone. But do we have actual facts? My question for you is, let's just say it is 5G towers that's creating radiation. What is your plans on war or what can we do about it besides talking about it? And, Q, and I'm sorry, talking about it and causing fear within people. Do you have a solution? So, I wasn't coming at her in a disrespectful way. Not at all. But when I threw that answer at her. And then I also questioned her on. You said that they're taking down some of the towers of 5G. Then if it's not 5G and it's not the towers are taking down. Then what else is going to be there? Like, what else do we have to watch out for if it's not in the air if it's not in the towers then it's it's in the food and if it's not in the food then it's within the bats it's in within the exotic animals you know i'm hearing all the time that you know it's 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 from the the, the wuhang uh market over there in china and then one minute i'm hearing that it's from you know people who are eating bats you know so i'm just really confused just like everybody else, because I just want answers to this shit so I can go back to work and I can have my normal job again. And then I'm telling and I'm hearing stuff like this bullshit, which is confusing as hell, is that these motherfuckers have went ahead and reopened the market, which the actual natural disease came from. Okay, which will probably cause another disease to happen. So Here's what I don't understand, right? If the disease is coming from these animals and is being transported, okay? Let's just say that theory because we, we're hearing a whole bunch of shit. And then we're hearing that with the, 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 the corona that we get is supposed to ignite the 5G radiation and it's going to destroy all of us from whatever we catch from radiation from 5G. And it's like, it's like, damn, if you don't fall victim to the 5G radius, you might fall victim to the corona air that's out there. Listen, I'm just tired of this bullshit. 
I don't know about you folks, but that's how I feel. I'm tired of hearing different shit and no solutions. So this is what I think, and nobody has to think about this. Nobody has to agree with me on this. But these are a lot of the situations that I'm hearing, that I'm that people are telling me that will protect you. Now let me tell you something, man. If you're in some radiation shit, hand drying ain't gonna protect your hands. Using sterilizer possibly will. Because that gets rid of germs, all type of bacterial diseases. But radio, radio, radioactive react, um, radiation. We deal with radiation from microwaves. It's like being in a microwave. I understand that. It can kill us all. But at the same time, what are we really scared of? The radiation? From the towers? Or is it the coronavirus from the animals? Or is it the... The the motherfucking um what they say uh yeah they they say that the 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 radiation the coronavirus or is it the fucking economy we gotta worry about how the fuck we gonna pay our bills we waiting on the stimulus check we got the we got the fucking economy now motherfuckers said we gotta wash our goddamn food before we eat the shit now we got something else we gotta do. We got to leave the mail outside. We got to wash the mail and leave it out there for three days. And then we could take it back in. Something ain't right with this shit, man. Something ain't right with this shit. Something just ain't right, man. And you know what I think, man? Shit, my shit just went back, man. Okay. You know what I honestly think about this whole shit? And nobody has to believe me, and that's cool. I don't expect nobody to believe anything I gotta say. Because I want people to have their own mindset of things. I never force people into believing in any shit that I say. Because I'm gonna tell you this right now. This is how I truly feel about the world. And this is just my opinion. You don't have to agree with it. But this is how I truly feel. I really feel that nobody has the answers to this shit. And everybody's trying to say one thing and they're trying to say the other. And nobody knows what the fuck is going on. I'm just hearing a lot of shit and it always keeps bouncing around the place. If you're dealing with radiation, man. I'm hearing it escape from the lab. I heard some shit that it came from space caused by 5G. Everything's on the X, okay? Everything's on the X. And I didn't even make this shit. You know where this is coming from? This information was actually coming from doctors. And now people saying, don't trust the doctors now. Don't trust the doctors. Can't trust those doctors. They go try to put shit in your in 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 your uh in your food. And then you're gonna eat it. Then you're gonna get more sick. So if you're sick, I guess you just gotta fight it off until you somehow, you know, pray and hope that you survive. You know what I mean? Listen, man. This shit don't make no sense, man. Like, something just ain't right here, bro. Y'all gotta open up your minds, man. Open up your minds and think for yourselves, man. I'm not telling you how to think. Just think for yourselves, man. You make the decision, man. You make the decision. If it's coming from the animals, you know what I'm saying? And you guys think it's coming from the animals over there in China and Wutong, you make the decision. If you think it's coming from 5G, you know what I'm saying? You make the decision. If you think it's coming from the towers. But I'm going to tell you this though. On the last girl that I spoke to on that video. The last girl that I made a commentary on. Okay. She did state it in her videos. That if they don't take these towers down by June 21st. My white friends go come get you. Then she all of a sudden said. Oh. They started to take some of the towers down. Because they listen to my white friends. I know people like you. Would. Would. 
probably turn things around and say, oh, well, uh, you know, it, 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 nah. no, bitch, because ain't nobody was taking shit down. You're a hypocrite. You talk about these people are trying to scare other people to be distracted from coronavirus. Then what the hell are you think you're doing by telling people about 5G's of a tour of a of a, uh, a tower? I'm sorry, not a tour of a tower. 5G's of a tower. And then when I question you about this shit, oh, well, some of my white friends are taking it down. Oh, miraculously, they're taking the towers down now. No, you saw me as an ignorant black man. That's what it was. When I asked you these questions, you saw me as an ignorant black man. But your white friends had to tell you what the deal was. When you said you had, you said what you had to say. Okay. Those y'all who are coming in here, man. I'm going to play this video one more time, man. Y'all hear this shit out, man. Hear this out. So this is what I've been hearing. <clears throat> My white friend said Trump administration got until the 1st of June to do their roundups because people are not staying locked inside if you're not locking them people up. The people said that the real reason we're saying is because they out putting these 5G towers up while we are inside. So they have until the 1st to round them people up or my white friends, they shooting. They shooting. They're going to be shooting. Congress. Okay, my white friends, they're going to be shooting. They're going to be shooting, right? So she also posted this, right? Because I'm going back and forth. Right with the COVID nineteen, coronavirus is fake. It was a huge cover up and all this other stuff. All right, that's her assumptions. That's cool. She also wrote down on the bottom, "fuck the system" and all that. I've always said that too. System is fucked up. But when I challenge her on certain things, I said, "Your white friends." Hmm. I said, "I hear what you're saying. I'll take into consideration." But we got to be real here. You just hearing what other people. We're saying, just like I am, nobody has 100% facts on what's going on. And this is no disrespect, but we just got to keep it real. Nobody knows. Everyone is speculating. Okay? Now, when she said that, you know, she goes and proceeds and she says what she had to say, you know, regarding to the coronavirus how it's been around for years, which I totally agree with her on. It's inhumane to lock people up. That's cool. I agree with that. But then what destroyed her definitive statement was, I know that most men who look like you will make excuses. So she disqualifies me based on my statement. But she says most men who look like you will have excuses, will make excuses, then try to say, I'm not saying you wrong. So what does she mean by most men who look like me? <laughs> but you go to your white friends, though, they'll tell you the truth. And then I said, most men who look like me will have, will make excuses with a question mark. So now you're generalizing me based on my looks, on my opinion and the situation and matter. See, you absolutely made no sense. And you're taking this as an emotional response. This is the type of stuff I talk about, folks, man. And this is why I cannot talk with a lot of women when it comes down to speaking on something they either wrote and I questioned them on what they wrote with some sort of solutions and answers and when they don't have the answers for it they come at me in a smart way well most people who look like you but then she has a, she has a video out speaking to her white friends mm, mm, they gonna be shooting mm-hmm Mm-hmm. They gonna be shooting mm, June 21st. Mm, they don't take them towers down. Mm. And all I did was ask her a question with what she said. And all of a sudden, most men who look like you 
would make excuses for the things you say. I'm not backpedaling what I'm saying, biatch. I stick to my words. I grab my balls and I walk freely. All I said to you is, I agree with two of your things of what you said about the coronavirus being around for a long time. And I totally agree with that. And also about the uh, having people locked down in their houses like animals. I totally agree with that. But why did it take your white friends for you to make that statement and say to me, well, most people who look like you, ooh, the racism is real between mixed females. I deal with them all the time who are like that, who are completely coonish and racist against black men, especially if you're a black man and you have a definitive statement. I wasn't coming at her disrespectfully. I just spoke what was on my mind. And I said, listen, in other words, where's your proof? I want to see receipts. If I don't see receipts, I don't see receipts. And I'm just hearing you speaking on. They're using the coronavirus as a cover up to scare people. But you just said that they had the towers with 5G's. Don't you think that's scaring people? If we don't die from the virus from the animals, we go die from the radiation. Ooh, the radiation go come. All this type of stuff she put out there. And the thing is, I don't like making assumptions to something that I don't have 100% facts on. I always say opinions. These are my opinions. I never say, hey, this is facts, unless I did my research and it's actual facts. But I can tell you what is facts. The fact of the matter is, none of us knows what the fuck is going on. All we're told is to stay inside. That's what we're told. We're told to wear gloves, wash our hands when we come in the house. Now, these are my opinions now. Now, I'm going to talk about what I think. Okay? Nobody has to believe what I have to say. That's fine. Because th this, is, this is what the channel is all about. I am not forcing anybody to believe what I have to say. The problem with a lot of us as black folks is that we're always trying to force everybody into believing one thing if black people have a disagreement or one black person has a disagreement with a set of black people guess what all of a sudden that black person who doesn't agree with everything you have to say all of a sudden he is a outcast he don't know what he's talking about he is crazy the funny thing is is everybody is becoming ex conspiracy theorist now because everybody has assumptions. Where is your facts? That's all I'm saying. They're going to put planted chips in our hands and turn us into robots. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I get it. They're going to put chips in our hands, so we need to watch out because all the money is going to be. Uh, then they say that oh, the money is going to be poisoned and everything. Come on, man. The money is going to be poison. The black folks go to the white folks and the white folks tell them, well, my white friend don't say June 21st, mm, they going to be some shooting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now she says, oh, they begin to take some of the towers down. You know, how she changed her statement when I started to ask her questions on what she's saying. This is how you can tell when people lie, man. These people don't know what the hell is going on. Why she out here scaring people? That's the problem that I have. It's fake ass accusations and fake ass assumptions. Do I say, hey, I think most of the media is fake. Yes, I do to a certain degree. 
but I'm not going to feed my mind too much in mainstream media. Right now, I feel that reality TV shows are a way of getting away from shit. Is it true? There's a possibility. There's a possibility. There is a possibility that everything this woman is saying could be true. And I could be entirely wrong. There's a possibility that the guy that was talking with the other guy saying that it comes from 5G, saying that it comes from animals, they could be right too. There's a possibility I could be wrong. But one thing I can say right now, and everybody in this world can agree on, including the people, is that nobody has 100% proof in what they're saying. Nobody has 100% proof in what they're saying. Everyone is speculating. Everyone is speculating on the universe. A dark world. In the galaxy. Where we're trapped. And no one can do anything about it. We are a prisoner to our own greed. I'll tell you what I think, and you guys don't have to believe in what I have to say. That's why we all have minds. We all can think for ourselves. We are a part of the universe. We are living species. We are part of this universe. We are our own destruction, people. A lot of it, I think, in my personal opinions, has to do with politics. There's a lot of politics involved. A lot. It's my own personal opinion. Nobody has to agree. I think there's a lot of politics that's involved. And I think China wants to create a suicide a suicide germ weapon. That's my opinion. And what I mean by suicide germ weapon, I'm talking about the germ that you cannot see, but you can inhale. And it will, if it means killing them in the process, it's taking us down with us. In the 19, 1918s, right, there was a flu called the Spanish fly, I believe. And the Spanish fly wiped out a lot of people. It killed a lot of people. People didn't know how to treat it. They had no treatments for it. Back then, they don't even have the type of... Uh, they don't even have the type of... Uh, the type of technology like we have today. So, many thousands and thousands and thousands of people died from this. We had the swine flu, but we were able to maintain that flu. Back in the Renaissance period, there was the Black Plague, which was way before our time. I read about it in history books. Reading books is fundamental. I never thought that reading would be so interesting. You know, 
this being at home gives me a time to read things and you know possibly sit down and read some chapters of the bible because i always believe that the bible is a forecast for things to come it's our past it's our present and it's our future some believe some have religious beliefs uh some are christians some are atheists and don't believe in jesus christ and that's fine that's totally up to your discretion and you just some who will have that scientific uh they have the, the the scientific method that we all came from science the big bang theory you know there's so many speculations right just like what's going on in today's world where 5g is going to be harmful for our bodies but i just find it ironically funny that 5g has been out for two years and nobody said anything about it until now and it's just a lot of things just make me think outside the box and you know it really makes me think more about the universe on how things are you know just put into a place and like i said this is solely my opinion not everybody has to agree with everything that i have to say but i always believed in this that we are all part of the universe we have energy that we put into the earth the moment that people do not put energy towards each other, just think about it. Just think about it. Whenever we feel good about something, we need people around us, right? Because that's energy. People bring energy to us. We gain our energy from whatever we put into the universe. Whatever we put into the universe, we get back and receive from us. There's too much bad energy that's being thrown out there even within this COVID-19 crisis that we're in. There's too much negative energy and too much misinformed information, speculations, conspiracies that's throwing people off guard spiritually and not really using a second mindset. We're being thrown off because we're not using our third eye. We are just going by what other people say. We get confused with the economy. It's the, it's the rats, they say. That's what causes the virus. Then they say, no, it's not the rats. It's the, it's the, it's the 5G we got to worry about. And then they turn around and say, oh, well, the economy, when we get back to work, There'll be less jobs around and everything will be pretty much like what they did during 2008's uh, recession when they just kind of combined banks with each other and they had Manny Fay with the, uh, the stock exchange going down and real estate, people losing their homes and being on the street, you know. This right here is a double whammy because right now we're going through an effect of a parasite that's on the universe and we have to find a way to evaporate this parasite people say if the parasite might be human people saying that this parasite might just be bacterial it's a bacterial disease and we need to just fall according to law but people are also reading into uh like i said it goes back to the conspiracy theory where people are confused and people think that it's, uh, oh, it's presidents being locked up. This is why we're in the house. And I also thought that. Because guess what? I was listening to what other people were saying. Which one is it? The five Gs? The, the amount of CEOs and everybody stepping down? And they're being locked up? Or is it this the virus that we got to worry about from Wu-Tang or Wu Wuhan or whatever the hell it's called? Wuhan. Do you understand why people are so in a state of shock and people can't focus, right? Because we're not in tune with our spirituality. We're not in tune with ourselves. We're not in tune with what makes us humans. 
We buying ammunition. Everybody's buying guns and shit. Because we're all freaked the fuck out. Excuse me for my language, but it's the truth. Everybody's scared. Everybody's buying a lot of toilet paper and a lot of... Uh, um, sterilizer. The reason why everybody's buying it because they're saying that the radiation is gonna come down, and they're trying to get us fat and feed us all, right? So we need to go outside and exercise. That's a scary thought, though. That's a scary spiritual thought to have. You know, I say times like this really makes you feel that what type of energy that could be positive of a source that we can reach to because wherever there's negative people there's always a positive when there's a negative there's always a positive we are being overthrown and i've always said this and everybody doesn't have to agree with me. I'm not expecting the people of the universe to agree with me. But we've always been taught to think on our own. We were always taught to think on our own. But somehow we look through leadership as role models. We look for leadership and role models. And we look for answers. And who are these people that we look for as leadership and role models? I know some of y'all probably will say your parents, but let's just be real. We don't. A lot of us are looking up to entertainers, sports athletes, uh, news anchors, <laughs> if you find them as uh, someone that you look up to. Depends on what you see on television and news articles. We all are looking for somebody that we can look for for answers. So in this case, What do we see? We see most of our allegedly role models who are on TV are quarantined and they're staying in their homes. Okay? They're sending a message for us to all stay in our homes. I'm not telling people to think like me. I want you all to think for yourselves. Think of what a possibility of a positive situation can come out of this. I thought about a lot of positive things. This made me want to cope within myself and look at my mistakes and also look at my career choices too because everybody needs a career for survival needs some sort of income or money so that's one of the things people are concerned about is the economy but then you have this virus to worry about so you think to yourself as a human being living on earth well, what's, what's important to you? Your health? Or your money? They got some essential workers out here. They have essential workers out here working. With a disease going around. They're trying to stay open for the people. 
They don't want everything to shut down. They're not trying to shut down everything. That's why essential workers are able to be here to help the people in need when it comes down to groceries and shopping. People were racing to the grocery stores like damn fools buying up all this shit. They said that the foods were not going to go anywhere. Do I believe that? Yes, I do. They're not trying to kill you all. They're trying to have you survive. You need food for survival. If they cut off food, you cannot survive. They will not cut off food because they need you to survive. And then I hear things about the rich people. They're going to kill off all the poor people and keep all the rich people. Does that make any sense? Folks, use your mind. Why would you keep all the rich people alive? All the the NBA players, basketball players, everybody who's rich on this earth. Keep them all alive. But kill all the poor people. Kill them off. Do a cleansing for the universe. So... We're saying they're doing this to kill off all the people in the universe. I'm going to tell you this. The rich cannot survive without the poor. We Invest into their living. And then I hear scientific stuff was all the rich people, they're going to be sent up into space. All the rich people are going to be sent up into space. We're going to be left on earth and earth is going to crash and die. And all the rich people are going to just live and nothing's going to happen to them. I've heard that theory. I'm pretty sure you guys heard that too. Have you? I don't know the answers to what's going on in this universe. We only hear what's going on on national TV. And all of us are taking out speculations and all of us are watching YouTube videos and watching conspiracy theories. All of a sudden, all black people of my race wants to become conspiracy theories. You know, it's so funny. I've watched people like Alex Jones and other YouTube videos from other white, uh, I guess they would say, um, I, well, what's the word? Uh, I guess freedom fighters or I would just say rebels. About how the government is trying to take over. The government been taking over. And that's more into like. You know global. Elites and Illuminati. And people when they get more into that. Type of stuff. You see I don't like to really touch on things like that. Because then we lead our minds into a world of speculations. I try to take consume of what people talking about with Illuminati and, you know, conspiracy theory. Because I'm not saying I don't watch it and I don't listen to it. I do. Do I think majority of the stuff they're talking about is true? There could be a, a really great possibility. Yes. Do I believe that there's evil entities and Agendas, I've been talking about this for the longest time, and I certainly do agree with that. And is there Illuminati? Of course there is. There is an evil force on this earth that controls everything that we do. But here's my question for you guys is, what are you planning on doing about it? Besides putting the fear within the American people. What are the good people of this earth, the good politicians of this earth, the people who care about the well-being of this universe, the powers to be who are good and fighting the evil? What are you planning to do to protect us? 
Because people are losing faith. That's the problem, people. We devote our energy into the wrong places when we should be devoting into God. We've taken the word of God out of schools. We've taken it out of dollars that we're trying to do. We are not worshiping who we should be worshiping. We're greed. We want material things. We, we, uh, we put people down emotionally, physically. If we can't get things we kill, we murder. We hate. We lust. There's not enough love. That's what I see a lot through these doors. At work. Everywhere I go. And now with the social distance thing. It's like we are robots. To our own. Greed. Here's what I believe, and like I said, you guys do not have to believe anything I say. I always say to my loyal fans and people who are watching right now who subscribe to my channel, and those of y'all who are new coming across my channel, hit that subscribe button, both my game channels and my first channel. Yeah, I do some comedy, and I try to do that to uplift people's spirits. And not be so serious, but then again, maybe I have to be a little serious on things. I don't like the scare factor of what's going on in this universe. I don't like the fact that we all are scared. We all are programming our minds into thinking something that might not even be there in the first place. You got to think for yourselves, people. Without thus, thus. In thy Bible, without thus is no thy or no them. First, they say, Oh, the virus, it only kills young people. Oh, no, they said old people. All right, my, my apologies. They say old people. Then they change their mind and they say, no, it, uh, it, it, um, it bounces off the kids and old people. Then they change their mind and they said, oh, well, young people can get it too. And then a whole bunch of young people were told to stay home, to stay home. Do not go out unless it's necessary and please stay six feet away from each other. Right now it's dangerous being outside. I don't want to go outside like that. If it's. My safety to be inside the doors. I'm going to stay home. I'm going to stay home. Why can't people just listen? Look at China. China is a perfect example. China is a perfect example. People are taking China for granted. People think the Chinese are incompetent. They think they're stupid. I think the Chinese are very smart people. Very, very smart. Could be smarter than Americans. The reason why I say that is because when the Chinese people come to this country, they listen. And they learn, they absorb, they come in groups, in packs, and they gather information. They take it back to their homeland. They invent things that they know can possibly happen. Do I believe this disease came from China? I don't know. There's a good possibility. Just like a lot of things are a good possibility. But guess what? Those are my assumptions. Because I don't have ground facts. I can only tell you what I know.
that's what makes this world so beautiful is that we all can have our own opinions to things but can you match your opinions or I should say can you match your uh what's the word not opinion folks but can you match your assumptions with facts because nobody can do that because everybody can tell you what he or she said so now that we know what he or she says what are you going to do about it because the people don't want to hear any more bad news we don't need that we want to know what can we do to solve this issue so we can get back to earth instead of living this fantasy of a nightmare to some people some people don't like us some people will try to make a biochemistry weapon which is something that you cannot see but you can you can't even smell or see but you can inhale into the system to completely destroy a nation what makes you think that this is not a germ war i talked to a navy seal vet and he told me back in what the 1915 50s when they had what world war ii i believe that was one of the wars it's a germ war that's what I truly believe. And that, hey, that's my opinions. You don't have to agree with it. But I believe it's a germ war. China let the dogs loose. And what it is, it backfired on them. And what they were trying to make. And I believe so. I don't know if it was intentionally meant for us. Possibly. Who knows? But those are just speculations <laughs> like I said I don't have solid ground proof but it's just a, a, just a feeling I get this is just my perspective of things I haven't heard this from anybody else so if anybody else came up with this idea hey shout out to them but this is just off the top of my dome because I'm practicing the social distance thing so I'm just being more social on YouTube I kind of find it funny that people are having it so hard to practice social distancing because people like myself have always been distanced from the blue world society. I've always been part of the red pill society. I've always been taught to think for myself, but not only that, to also look beyond what's in front of me and i suggest that with everybody have your own have your own mind thinking you don't even have to listen to a word i say you don't have to listen to any word i say all i say to you is this have your own process of thinking think how you want to think think how you feel on the situation because everybody's just assuming right now so we could all assume together because that's basically what we're doing. The fact of the reality is this. Nobody knows. But we do have some solid ground facts that possibly people are dying because we're seeing videos. Or are we? It makes you really think. I can tell you this from my personal experience. Now that everybody's told their personal experience, I can tell you what I've seen with my own eyes being out these doors. I see a panic of people. I see that they divided like the supermarkets. I haven't drove anywhere else or wanted to see or sightsee anywhere else. I'm thinking about it, but I've only kind of drove within a five to four miles radius between that Probably like a three mile radius like this from my house i haven't been really going anywhere because i'm not trying to explore at a time like this you know i kind of 
want to stay in my own bubble unless I'm like not going to leave my vehicle then possibly I'll just probably drive around because of what's going on it's it's kind of it's kind of looking like a freak show out there you know what I mean like it's just something from a you know a zombie apocalypse like it just feels that kind of vibe going on and it's quite a ironic that we've had a a biohazard apocalypse video game that just came out April the 3rd, you know, which is called Resident Evil. Uh, just find it really ironic that all these crazy events do come uh, in circles. Uh, I find it really weird that celebrities are dying every single month from Juice World, December, uh, January, uh, Kobe Bryant. And his daughter. And then. Uh, March. We just had a late great, a late rapper. By the name of Pop Smoke. Who died. And then before that. In December. You know. I guess we had. Other celebrities that were dying. Through the months. And then we had. A person. By Nipsey Hussle. It, it just makes you think to yourself. Like. Well. I mean, listen, I know people don't live forever and people do die. I mean, that's just a part of our natural being. But when people are dying through violence, like through violent and horrific events that are occurring in our lives, and it's all happening very close to each other. It really makes you think to yourself, like, do we really have control over the universe as us, as people, as we think we do? And is there a higher entity which is controlling our mindset into thinking? See, I've always said that they give us the tools. They give us the tools. To help ourselves. But also. They give you the tools to kill yourself. You know a lady said this. A famous rap artist lady. I don't know if it was. Uh, a Feeny, I think it was a Feeny Shakur. It was Tupac's. Uh, not wife. Tupac's um, mother. Tupac's mother. I forgot the, the phrase that she said. But she said. She was talking because she's a she was a Black Panther. She was an activist, of Black Panther movement. She said this that to Tupac, do not give them the power to destroy you or something like that. She said in that type of sequence, I I believe, and that was very. That was very light, enlightening. You know, it was very... That part of the movie, like, really moved me right there when she said that. Do not give him the ammunition to kill you. And when Tupac's mother said that to Tupac, that's when he should have taken heed to what was going on around him. The people around him, like Suge Knight, All these people around him was was draining him out, using him up until he self-destruct. And that's what they did. They didn't give a damn about Tupac. All they cared about was publicity and money. And he lost his life for other people's greed. Just think about it. It was greed. <laughs> wow it was great people die violently for greed we are our own destruction folks we've did this to ourselves and look what 
It's happening now with the universe. This is our payback. I'm going to read you guys something off a verse that I found very intriguing. Uh, rather you believe in the Bible, that's on you. You don't have to believe. And rather you do, that's even good too. But this is something that really caught my eye on things. And I actually love this. But hold on, let me see if I can find it out here. One second, folks. I don't want to read that shit. I don't even want to be on social media, I'll tell you the truth, bro. Like, I, I, I don't even want to be on social media right now because it's like, I feel like people on IG and Facebook, it's like all of a sudden everybody's believing in, in the conspiracy theories. To what they heard on internet and platforms now. And I just feel like we're just being distracted again. I don't know why I feel that way. And I'm thinking out the box. I feel like they want us to think this way. That's just me. The only person I honestly believe in. Is a spiritual entity of positivity. If I got issues, I pray to the Holy Messiah. Check this out. I'm going to show you something. Let me see if I can find that. Uh, I know I got it here somewhere. One, four, one minute, one minute, one minute. This is going to be very intriguing, guys. Um, okay, let me see if I can hear Okay, why am I not finding this shit? Okay, okay I must have, oh, okay, alright Alright, I, I think I must have left it in this file Sorry, I'm going through my phone right now I'm trying to find this verse Um. Okay, I know I sent it Okay, alright, here we go Got it now. Now, March 26 was the day where the lockdown began, right? March 26. In Bible verse Isaiah, verse 26, 20, says, Go home, my people, and lock your doors. Hide yourselves for a little while until the Lord anger has passed. Notice that this is verse 26, 20. Give me a second. That's a that's an airplane passing by, man. See, they ain't playing with this curfew thing. It says March 26, 2020. And the Bible verse of Isaiah says, Lock your doors, hide yourselves for a little while, until the Lord anger has passed. Isn't that amazing that this happened on the 26, 20, 2020, March 26? I know it sounds really crazy there. But this is the only type of conspiracy that people want to call this that I actually believe in. A spiritual entity. I like to take the spiritual entity approach. The Lord commanded a lockdown during Passover in Egypt. When the angel of death passed over, the Israelites were protected by the blood of the Lamb. Thursday, April the 16th, was the Passover that ended. As you all know, that lockdown is lifted 21 days. It's the 16th. Hmm. God's timing could be very incredible. 
I do believe that we are all protected. I do believe. I do believe the ones who listen are protected. We want to stop a virus, we have to listen. Life is all about learning lessons. There's rules to life, there's lessons to life. Life is about lessons. That's all it is. Life is about lessons. People want to know, well, what's the meaning to life? I don't know what the meaning to life is. Lessons. You have a choice. You've always had a choice. They say stay in. You choose to go out. You suffer the consequences. Here's one of the things that I don't understand, right? And that, that I see a lot with uh, that I see a lot with with uh, outside. And I'm gonna I'm just gonna specifically talk about my experience, right? Just just being outside. I see a bunch of kids. bunch of kids all together going into a boost mobile shop today this happened today a boost mobile shop so i say to myself well why are these kids all walking into a boost mobile shop It was five kids all together. Like, it got to be between the ages of 13 and 19 years old, man. These kids, man. They're all walking into a Boost Mobile shop together. Now, are we supposed to be practicing social distancing? See, there's a lot of things just, just come into play when I when I see people doing things and then I'm hearing things. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. Aren't, aren't y'all supposed to be like social distancing? Like, why? Aren't y'all supposed? What the hell is going on here, man? Sometimes I'll be thinking to myself, are the kids right that we are stressing over something that's not, that may not even be real? I mean, look, I can just talk on what I see. I don't see people sick on the road. Some people said they saw people being sick. One of the girls that was close to me, or I thought that was close to me, she's in a pharmaceutical business. She was telling me about one of her patients is sick, and she got the corona, and she was like a, a, a cubicle away from me. And I said, well, why are you still at work? As somebody in your office has the corona. She's talking about her manager won't let her go. What? Well, if I go, I won't get, I can't claim unemployment. That's what she said. She says she can't claim unemployment unless they fire her. So I said. What the hell is going on here? So, I'm even thinking to myself, because she's being overworked. She's working long hours. And she's overworked. She's tired. So, I say to myself, well, do they care about your well-being? Do they care about your health, your mental capacity, your stress? You're, you're working 14, 15 hours a shift. And, you know, she's acting a little funny with me, man. And I noticed that this, this whole virus thing has got everybody in a funk. Everybody's acting weird, funny. 
And just because you practice social distancing outside, I get it. That doesn't mean you have to practice social distancing on a phone. And I started to really think of certain things here. Is that you got a lot of people, or I should say, in my circumstances, women that I associate with, will either do two things. If they're in a situation that they're making money and they may be working essential, they don't want to talk to you. You are no longer value if you're at home and you don't have a job. Now, the ones that are at home, they're vulnerable. These girls don't got money to get their makeup done now. I hear a lot of them complaining about their makeup. They can't get their makeup done. I see some still on Facebook and Instagram showing it off, doing like everything. It's still early. But wait till months go by and everything's still shut down and closed. Those same women that you see on Instagram, they gonna be looking pretty different. Imagine if we were in this shit for a whole year and everything was closed. They gonna look extremely different. It's gonna be two things that's gonna happen as an experiment on this world to human, to a human spirits. It's either going to make you or it's going to break you. It's a scary universe that we live in. It's a scary thought because none of us know the real answers to what's going on. Everybody, everybody is speculating. Nobody has nothing on paper. And I'm not here to beat my ways of thinking into people's mindsets. See, I don't do things like that. I make you think for your own. I just have my own opinions on what I think of the subject and matter. You guys have the right to think how you want. I am not holding that against you. And if you disagree with me, I will not make you feel lower than me or make you just demeanor you. Because everybody has a right to their own opinion. That doesn't mean I have to agree with it. But that's the problem that we have within our community. Now I got this thing called on my phone, a security update needed. Your system is three days out of date. Download updates over a singular I mean, over a cellular network. Why do I have to do this shit? Update size. Hmm. What am I updating? <laughs> That's when the conspiracy theory comes into play. But listen. I don't know. I don't have the answers. I just like to carry the spiritual approach. I don't like to listen to what everybody else has to say. Because the, the, the real of the matter is this, folks. Nobody knows what the hell is going on. Nobody knows. Everybody's speculating. I look at this, man. I sit down. I sit down. I read the Bible. And I look at the forecast of presence past and future events I try to add them up book of revelations read that shit man read it it's a forecast of the future man we all know that people are greed for gold and riches and fame we all know that's greed everybody is fueled with greed that's the problem with this country. Everybody's so greedy. Everybody's so greedy over things. You want more, you want more, you want more. Nobody is acceptable. And nobody is content with what they have because everybody wants more.
I used to think I needed more. I need more money. I want to buy more things, but then why? Now I just want to live comfortable. I've always had that mindset. Ever since 2008, that changed my mind since the first bang. The recession. Every 10 to 20 years, events like this happen because we are at a global financial crisis. There's a lot of things I ask questions on. Well, how does the U.S. Treasury come up with a trillion dollar, a trillion dollar stimulus package to send out to everybody when we are in trillions of dollars in debt? At least that's what I thought. So it just makes me scratch my head and question myself. Well, why? Why would we? How are we able to get this money? See, there's money out there. These guys have money. They rich have money, man. They've got money. They're not trying to destroy the planet. They need us to survive. Just like we need them to survive. Now we want to talk about our president now. If you want to get into politics, I can do I think Donald Trump makes some really bad decisions? Yeah, you're damn right I do. I think he does. I see the way he talks to reporters. He pushes them away. If he does, Next question, I don't got nothing to say. Talk to these people. It's like, sometimes I think he's just really aggravated with the bullshit. And he doesn't have time for it. I get it. But when you have that type of response... People start to think you don't care. And it makes you look really bad. And I don't know if he does care. I don't know. But that's my assumptions. We only go by what we see. And I can only go by what I see. And to be honest with you, you know, that's just my opinions on it. You know, I'm a conservative. You're damn right. But I'm going to say wrong is wrong. I just don't like the way he handles the media. I don't think he's not a people person. I've always said that. Um, I think he can be an asshole. I think he can be a real asshole. I think he turned it. He toned it down quite a lot. But um, I just feel that I don't think that he. Uh, I don't think he has the mental capacity. And knowing how to handle people. See, presidents are just like normal people, like me and you. But they are a front runner of this country. They are the person, he is the, the, the commanding in chief. So we go to him. Now, this is just my assumptions now. Okay, you don't guys don't have to believe me or not, but this 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 is just my assumptions or my opinions too. This is what I am assuming. Okay, on what possibly could have happened here, because I'm taking more of the spiritual approach, but also the political approach. That I really feel this has to do with a lot of politics, man. I don't know why. I don't think it has anything to do with them trying to kill us or anything like that. I really has to do. I think it has to do with politics, man. It's a dirty, stinking war going on right now. And it's a germ war. It's a dirty war. The germ wars are one of the. Let me tell you something. When you talk to these Vietnam people. See, that's the problem. A lot of people don't like having conversations from people who, who fought in battles. People who have experience. The vets. You know, one of my good friends. He's a Navy vet. He told me a lot of stories. A lot of stories, man. And he's a driver like me. And let me tell you something, man. This man knows his shit. 
He's in his, uh, what, mid-60s and shit, and he's one of my good friends. And I have a good conversation with him, man. We cut it up. We talk. It seems like a, uh, most of my friends are older now, man. I learn more from older people, man. I don't like talking to younger peers like people right now, man. My younger peers be acting like high school kids right now. Talk about my white friend, man. I can't deal with the stress of the universe. I can't deal with the stress of people. I can't deal with mainstream media. So my man's told me, he said, man, turn that shit off, man. Don't fuck with the news, man. Half of the shit they ain't telling you what it is, man. It's bigger than just the virus, man. It's all with politics, bro. Y'all don't have to believe that. But that's what I feel too, because everybody has their own belief. Y'all don't, you guys don't have to believe that. I don't force anybody to believe in anything that I say. Not at all. You judge for yourself. The people judge for themselves. I don't tell nobody to thumbs up my shit. Well, sometimes I do. Let me stop. Yeah, I do, because I want y'all to be into it. just just my subscribers. But I don't force y'all. You do what you want. But I do tell you this. I really do feel it is politics heavy involved in what's going on right now. And I really believe that China's pissed off at us and they pissed off. And I b- really believe 90% of why they're pissed off has to do with a decision from Trump, man. Come on, man. Trump stopped these people from eating, man. Not talking about that Wuhan marketplace that needs to be shut the fuck down because that shit needs to be shut the hell down. I just don't believe in people just eating rats and shit because these are just rats. This is disgusting. A bat is a flying fucking rodent. In the Bible, it even off, off it even says that rats are the filthiest, disgustingest things on the earth, and we're not supposed to be consuming these. Nasty, disgusting things in our bodies. Of course they carry diseases. And then they opened up the exotic marketplace again. So that's going to lead for more diseases being put out there. And these people just don't learn. But at least that's what they say. They're keeping up the market open, man. They're not closing it down. Even though they're covering their faces, this doesn't make any sense. So this is what we need to do to avoid another crisis like this. And we are able to get back on our knees, which we will. The economy will be back together. It's going to be a lot of fatal deaths. I believe that the economy will get back together. That's my opinions. Give me one second, folks. I'm trying to see. I believe that the economy will get back. I believe people will will get back on their feet. But um I think that in my opinion, hold on. Why can I get this? Hold on, hold on guys. Let me see. Uh Okay, here we go. Let me try to change this up a little bit. Hold on. Uh, okay, here we go. All right. Cool beans. Bada bing, bada boom, bada boom, boom, boom. Hold on. Let me try to fix this, guys. Hold on. All right, back to what I'm saying. I really do believe that, um, what in the world? Hold up. I mean, I really do believe people will will get back into work. Like I was saying, I'm sorry, I had to fix something. I really do people will get back into work, like I was saying. But I do think that it's going to take a, a long, a long time for people to get back into that. I, I say not being afraid of things. I think a lot of people are going to be terrified. 
A lot of people are gonna have trust issues. A lot of people, hey, it's gonna, it's gonna change people's way of perspective. It's gonna have people more neat and more clean on things, man. Which is a, you know, it could be a good thing. I think people are gonna think more about their careers. They're gonna think more working for government jobs. Something that they could hold on to, and they don't have to be have to worry about money, you know. I think people are going to think a lot differently about their careers and what they're doing right now. And they're probably going to scratch their head and say, well, damn, am I in the right field? Am I doing the right thing? People might just change the way they're living. I don't know. Or people just might be oblivious to what the fuck is going on and want to do dumb shit still. Still want to be on some nigga shit. Still want to throw away shit. Still want to just do stupid shit. Because when we get this money, man, we got to be real. If we When we get this stimulus package, if we do. Or when we do get it, because people, some speculations as well, there's some conspiracy theory, period, period, people saying, excuse me, people are saying that we might not even get this package. This might be uh, a false um, narrative from the upper elite because of the 5Gs. But then same thing with the chick. When I questioned her about it, she said, oh, well, my white friends told me that they're taking them down. So you had to believe your white friends and what they tell you. People like me would probably back paddle what bitch you back paddled what you said because you did say at first that they're building these towers up. Then you back paddled and said, well, some of them are taken down because they realize that. Listen, this is the reason why I cannot have discussions with emotional driven women or women in particular. And this is no disrespect to you, ladies. I got a lot of respect for y'all, but there's some of y'all, a handful of y'all, I can't have a conversation with without it getting into an emotional response, without it getting into people who look like you, oh, you ugly, I don't want to hear what you have to say, that's all emotional responses. You're not even answering to what I was talking about, to your statement. The first thing you say is people who look like me. And then you talk about your white friends. So not only are you a closet racist, because that's what it sounds like you are. Because we all know some of the mixed women are coons. Not only are you a closet racist, that's what it sounds like. But you have no knowledge in what you are saying. You have no statements. So I see the disrespect she was coming at me. But you know what? I kept it cool. I kept it cool. I didn't want to disrespect her. So I took it the, you know, the mature approach. And I said, okay, no problem. But now that I'm thinking about it now, in retrospective, Now that I'm thinking about. I cannot deal with an emotional response. Unless you're answering the question that I was giving to you in the first place regarding to your statements you have put down. I love logical women. I love a woman with a logical mindset. I don't need a woman who's acting tough or hard. I love women who I can sit down and have conversations with. This is my suggestion before I let you guys go. Because I know it's pretty late. We had probably three, two people, whatever, coming on here. Nah, it is what it is, bro. This is my suggestion. This is just my advice. You guys don't have to take this. You guys don't have to listen to this. And take this advice. That's totally up to you. The only thing I have to say is this. Be careful. Be careful. Let's follow the rules. And get through this. Think for yourselves people. If you don't want to follow the rules, they're not forcing you to. There's just 
consequences and repercussions that are behind certain things if you don't. This is my honest belief. I believe we all can get through this because I see what China has went through. It's to deal with what's going on with the germs. It's my honest belief with the germ bacteria disease that's out there because there are people that are going into hospitals. It's, it is crazy out there. There's thousands of people who are dying. But at the same time, there's people who are taking it lightly. And they're still at their jobs and they're still working. Do you think those people really want to be working right now? You're taking a risk every time you're out those doors. I don't believe it's just from human to human. This bacterial disease, I believe, is something in the air. I believe it's something from the air. Who's to know if a mask is something that's going to really help us from getting out of this mess? They say a mask will protect you. That's not going to protect you from any type of radioactive radiation. Mm -mm. Hand dryers will protect you. Nope. Letters can carry the virus. Nope. See? Viruses can't go through letters. It's from the air. It's not through the letters. It's from the air. What we breathing in. It escaped from a lab. Nope. It came from space. Nope. It came from 5G towers. Nope. So. We all know that it came from the market place somewhere in China. But the Chinese people are saying, no, it's from the Americans. The Americans is trying to kill off everybody. Really? Okay. China has been doing a mass reduction in their people for the longest time. They've been coming up with experiments and things on how to do. They do all types of experiments on their people out there. Believe it or not. If these motherfuckers can eat rats and rodents, they can do a lot of shit to people in those countries. They got, they're watching their peoples like hawks. They're not as stupid as you think they are. They are very smart. The Chinese are very smart people. And they can make you think you're eating a duck and you're actually eating a dog. <laughs> or you're supposed to be eating chicken and it's actually a dog that you're eating. They're some smart motherfuckers. Not just me joking, but it's the truth. They smart. Protect yourselves, man. Stay home, man. Let this shit ride off. If you don't even believe in spiritual entities, you don't believe in the Bible, that's fine. Just stay home. Everything's written in the Bible, man. All of this is written down. The forecast that comes. But then people will say, well, the Bible's written for man. Okay? Written by men. Then what do you believe in that? Science? <laughs> People, Big Bang Theory, do you look for a higher power of source? I do. I know it's real. 
how does a world rotate on its axis like that? How does it just do that? It's just weird. We don't know. Nobody knows the answers. We're just one big planet rotating. It's like time is of the essence. When will it stop rotating? Will there be a recreation in the earth? As it was during the prehistoric times when meteor showers came down. And wiped up all the dinosaurs. And I guess all the ice age cavemen. Well men had to survive the big bang theory right? The big bang. Men had to survive the Big Bang in order for us to keep on reproducing, right? But this meteor showers came down and it destroyed everything. And then, I guess, God recreated the planet. Someone believe in that theory? I don't stop anybody from believing in what they want to believe in. This is just life lesson learns. Life lessons and learns in life. Have you noticed that certain places or majority of places in the United States, such as North Dakota, South Dakota, uh, what else? Wyoming up there. Those Wyoming is a little bit more the East Coast, it's more up east, I believe. But places in the Midwest don't have the coronavirus like this. It's only major cities with a lot of people. Uh, North Dakota and South Dakota, their businesses are open and people are still working. It'd be a good time to be in North Dakota and South Dakota right now, wouldn't it? <laughs> the job market, job fears are good. But see, there's a lot of things that really puzzle me a lot too even with the economy as crazy as it sounds people this is just my opinion like I said it's my opinion you guys don't have to agree with it I am more concerned with the economy than I am of a virus people saying now is the best time to buy stock one of it's too late The economy is going to crash. And they're letting it crash. And they're letting it burn. That's how I feel. Everybody feels, everybody can feel differently, but that's me. And I think what they want to do is they want to re jump start. It's like America is like filing for bankruptcy and they want to restart everything. Got that feeling. They want to, they're going to rebuild a lot of things. Everything is going to be joint. They're going to, I believe they're going to combine businesses together instead of having different businesses. So that way everything's going to be so consolidated to reduce this trillion dollar deficit that we're in. I just got that feeling that they're planning on doing that. All government jobs remain open. Government jobs are people right now who are out there getting paid from the government and getting taken care of. Everybody else who's essential has work right now. Because you're doing something that people need. So that's the only part that I believe in the stock market is rising. It's the food. That's the only one leg they have to stand on is groceries and pharmacy. Why is that? People say they're trying to get people more sick to go to hospitals, but then they don't have enough nurses and doctors to take care of people. Saying it's getting insane. 
it's going to get worse before it gets better. They don't want to cause the risk for more people getting infected. That's why they're closing everything down. I understand that. Just imagine if we never closed down and this virus was bouncing back and forth to everybody. That would be the end of human existence. What would happen to planet Earth? What would happen to planet Earth? Sometimes I feel like, and I do sometimes have a little bit of conspiracy thought too, with spiritual thinking as well. So it's normal for me to feel different type of energies. Like I can feel fear within people, but I also can feel wanting answers because the conspiracy people, and I have a little bit of conspiracy ness to myself so i totally agree we tend to want to know answers to have questions to why is like this it doesn't make any sense we try to make logical explanations into things i i i totally understand that but at the same time if we don't have a solid concrete answer to what's going on then it just becomes speculations and that's the truth my honest truth of what I feel I don't know this could be just this is just me making assumptions now but then again I think it's the truth or maybe I know it's factuals it's actually facts nobody knows what's going on us as people not saying those higher people they only telling us what we need to hear or possibly what is the truth we don't know that the earth looks very beautiful that's how it looks like when it's lit up on a satellite it's pretty dope this whole world has a very largely mass of water it's all water. Just imagine if there was more islands and more planets being built. Like more land being built. Wow. It's got enough space for it. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense if a drug came from a Wu Tang or Wu Wu Wa Wu Wu Wa market. Keep saying Wu Tang, Wu Wu Young Market, or whatever, Wei Young Market, whatever the fuck, that marketplace. Something that doesn't really make any sense to me. Like I try to use a lot of facts and some theories to try to see if they match up, and sometimes I just I just can't really. It doesn't make sense because with the whole five G shit, it's like well. 5G's been around for years. Everybody can make their speculations on what's going to go on. I mean, the woman could be a pro white person for an advocate of a civil war and try to get black people's rowdied up for some dumb shit. I don't know. I hope it doesn't break out into a civil war because we definitely don't need that here. Definitely not, not at times like this. Mm -mm. We got to look out for each other, man. That's the best war we can fight is us looking out for each other. They can't beat us when we have love, strength, and numbers. That's the thing. What are we fighting for? Anyways, guys. It's getting pretty late. I want to thank you guys all who are watching, being on the show. God bless you, man. Y'all take care of yourselves, women and men, men and women, man. Take care of yourselves, man. Thank you all for joining, man. I want to know what you guys think. Rate this video. 
leave your comments. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all that. I can't get to my Facebook because uh, I'm in Facebook jail. So I won't be on for a while. I think April the 26th is the official date I'll be back to post on my regular channel. So you guys definitely check it out. I didn't really feel like being very comical on this video. kind of wanted to speak on something just real, you know. I think everybody's tired of feeling in fear and tired of not knowing and worrying. I don't like watching the news because it's like I worry too much. I, it's always something negative. I kind of scheme through it just to make it, just to see if they got to get a little positive. But you, have you noticed that they started to say a little positive things? Well, New York City is improving now. All of a sudden, they're going to have the vaccine. The vaccine to the drug. And I guarantee you, everything is going to get right back to normal. I'm telling you, people. Y'all don't listen. Stay your ass inside. By April the 16th, I got a good feeling. The Passover will be over. It's stated in the Bible. After the 16th, you're going to start seeing things get back to normal. But it's not going to be the same it's going to take some time people are emotionally distraught people it's going to take people some time to really get comfortable again because this has put a very detrimental damage on the economy believe it or not the economy's the economy's fucked up right now it's okay because the only thing that's holding it up is the pharmaceutical companies Anything that's essential. The food industry. So there's still a couple jobs still there. But I think they have a hiring freeze. On a lot of these jobs. Even though they say these jobs are hiring. Did I apply for some? Yeah. I got to unemployment early in time. I got to unemployment early in time. I was one of the first to go. I worked on cruise ships. I don't know if y'all know. But I am a motor coach driver. So. I deal with the general public itself. I drive to the airport. I do runs from the airport to the cruise line ships. Sometimes I'll even do runs with Disney. But usually I don't like doing Disney runs. Usually I take care of uh, dealing with the kids. You know, like, um, you know, a lot of uh, school runs dealing with kids. So once the schools start to get back in business, and the kids start going back to school, which they will. We will get back on track. Um, it's going to be a hard experience trying to get back. And that's why it's very important that everybody stays inside the house. Because we don't want to have a long drought in this. They're pushing it because <clears throat> of what's going on. what's going on in the universe I say listen stay safe don't panic stop watching TV news too much most people are starting to listen and they're not paying attention they're doing other things to keep their minds off stuff because television wants to keep you scared the news wants to keep you scared. They do. Because a lot of them don't know what the hell is going on. But they're putting the fear in the American people. And they don't have their... They also are assuming. They're using assumptions. Just like we are. We're no different. The only thing I can say that's truth and everybody knows. Is that none of us knows what's going to happen. But take a look at China and look at what they're doing. And now they have no signs of the virus. That's all I got to say, folks. Do your own research. Do your own personal thinking. And that's it. I'm your host, Andrew 26101 Show. Y'all be safe.